What's going on guys, Five Pillars back here today to show you another gold making guide. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to pickpocket through black wrong depths with your rogue. So qualifications for this is step one, make sure you have a rogue. Step two, make sure you buy up these relic coffer keys. Um, you might see a couple in your inventory now whenever you did uh, you know black rock depth runs and you always wondered what this key is it's going to help us open the coffers um, the way I do this run is I go straight for the coffer keys I like to do it in between uh, like AV runs and whatnot um, they're great it's about 60 gold an hour um, and sometimes it could be more if you get lucky with the certain drops and whatnot that you get as far as these keys, what you're going to want to be paying from, uh, typically I don't pay any more than 25 silver per key. Once in a while, if I'm desperate, I'd play, pay like 28 to 30 silver a key. Um, but they're very easy to get for 20 silver. What you're going to want to do is just go into org and just spam. That's really what it is. Spam and trade chat. Yell it out. Buying relic coffer keys, 20 silver each. And you want to just buy them all up. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna run through the through the um, route real quick, and then after that, I'll kind of go through the, the items that you get. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go through Black Rock Depths. You want to go over to this cage here, pickpocket this unless you have a key. I'll uh, just pickpocket that up. As far as recommendation for level, you're gonna want to be around like I recommend level 55 or higher to do this run, um, just to make sure that you don't like aggro mobs. Gonna want to pickpocket through this door here too. If you want to kill those elemental fires, you could. Uh, those elementals to get elemental fires, you could. Um, that'll boost up your run by additional six gold. I'll kill the next one over here in this room. You're gonna want to stealth once you go into this room here, because um, you could pull aggro. So these guys here, they have a chance to drop an elemental fire. So once in a while, I'll just kill them just for the hell of it. Just to see if I get lucky. Let's see here. Just it down real quick. Maybe I'll get lucky, maybe not. Nope, got a burning pitch. Go back into stealth. If you want to increase your gold per hour, you can pickpocket these guys. Um, they give you about 2-3 silver each, which is really good. If you really want to bump it up, you can go up here and pickpocket this whole arena. Um, these guys have a chance to drop in these lock boxes. Um, these junk boxes are good. Oh shit, I pulled aggro. Just vanish, boom, just like that. What I do is I sprint when I pull aggro here because sometimes when you vanish, they can still hit you. Um, but yeah, if you want to boost your gold power, you're going to want to pick pocket through this arena one by one go all the way around and like I said they drop these junk boxes good thing about these they have a chance to not only drop in high ticket items like gut ripper the dagger but they drop a lot of um, blinding powder which sells really well in the auction house um, so once you're done pickpocketing it through there you just go through here like I said, I don't even do the pickpocketing anymore. I just go straight for the chest because I have so many keys. I have like two, three hundred. And I love doing this in between AV runs. You're going to want to jump out of this window here on the right. Boom, just like that. Since I'm level 60, I can unstealth here. I won't pull these guys as long as I'm away from them. But I can walk right down here. Without stealth. And then you're going to want to stealth back up right about here. Cut through these blazing fire guards, and then you got this lord fire guy here. You want to cut around him. There's ways to kill him too if you ever want to boost your gold brower, but I don't recommend it as a rogue. It's pretty annoying and it's not worth it in my opinion. Okay, you just want to climb right up over here, keep going up. By the way guys, if you're watching this, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you like the content. 
you know, I'm going to be putting out more and more of these guides over time. <clears throat> Keep going up. And as you can see, I have my, uh, my alt actually logged in in my party. Well, he's logged out, but he's in my party. That's the way I reset my dungeons. I have a buddy just invite one of my alts, so when I'm done doing this run, I log out and I log into my alt, and I just reset the dungeon. That way I don't have to ask people to reset it for me. Comes in handy if you're, you know, planning on doing back-to-back-to-back -back -back runs. <clears throat> so once I make it up here, you're going to want to take the left. If you're not level 60, I highly recommend to use your distracts. Um, if you're like around 54, 55, you're going to want to distract this guy right here for sure. Him and his puppy. Because if you're not level 60, you will pull that dog unless you distract him. He has to be distracted to get this door right here on the right. I just get tucked into this corner. Pop open this chest. As you can see, I've been doing a lot of runs. That thing's full. Got a small sack. That was okay. Small sack of coin usually gives about, you know, 5 to 10 silver. What you're looking for is the fat sacks. Um, these false documents, deeds, those are the money makers. Like right there, I got a false document. Those vendor for 58 silver on pop. Right there. One chest. And I got a small sack. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we can get. Uh, that one's decent. That's actually not even decent. It's okay. We're gonna get some high ticket items here. Let's bust these open. These deeds are really good. They're two gold. Those are fat. And I got one of these today too. This green vendors for three. I'll probably be able to sell it on the auction house for like nine gold. Just huge. These boots, the dark iron baby booties. 88 silver a pop. Those are good. Alright, show me the money. Come on. Oh, that was really bad. Just one small sack of coins. See, sometimes the runs are not as good, but it's definitely worth it because you're going to get those runs where you get fat. I had a run right before this where I got nothing but fat sack of coins in each coffer. Um, I netted about 16 gold that run. One run. You could do a run in like 6 minutes. Right there I got a fat sack. See the fat sacks, they give you 1.41 gold. That's huge. Open these all up since I'm running out of space. That was huge, that was a big one. The thing about this, you can do these so fast. You just go and do it over and over and over again. Alright, let's see what we get here. Got a legal document. What is that? 53 silver. Not bad. This run was, wasn't that great as far as the chess, but like I said, one out of like five, you'll get a bad run. Um, I still made money. Um, you know, if I got the keys for silver, I still made money. Uh, but over time, it starts just adding up. Within an hour, you definitely make 60 gold. And you could pickpocket them and all that good stuff. Um, but that's basically it, guys. That's what I do for gold especially in between av runs that's like my main thing in between av runs because they're 30 minutes you know what you want to do is just set your hearth uh to cargath uh, you could do a ghetto hearth or a regular one and come over here pop these open just look out for these keys on the auction house and in trade chat and you'll be good so that's gonna be it for me guys make sure you drop a follow drop a subscribe hit a comment follow me on the socials baby i'm out